subscribe to my youtube channel and click on this bell icon to get all the latest videos hello guys welcome to my channel so in this video i'm going to show you my whole career and what i do in pc gaming editing video editing and programming all the things that i in my life i have did and this game is also very important because when i used to play 15 or 10 years ago i used to play call of duty which is through all those pc game that you love and see and in that time my processor the ram all the thing was not that good it was very average but after this update that i currently have which i'm going to tell you briefly in this video as you can see the cpu just and the gpu just all the thing are there that you can see the constant 60 fps gameplay in extra uh, extra high quality uh, game setting and everything that you have uh, as you can see in the call of duty gameplay is super smooth battery smooth and it needs around uh, 12 or 10 gigs of ram which was not there when uh, 10 or 12 years ago but now i have it so the as you can see the performance is really good as i take the call of duty as this is the game that i used to really love and i played a lot of those games like uh, call of duty gta 4 gta 3 and gta 5 by city all of those games a lot i was a complete pc gamer and it was a really good moment for me and it feel i downloaded this game call of duty advanced warfare again so that i can see the performance of my processor and the gpu and the ram that currently having and as you can see the pro the performance is so battery smooth this is one of the most intense places that you currently have in this kind of game and still it stays constant 60 fps without any hiccup or problem and the gpu is just, is above 70 to 80 and when you play on this game uh, with this thing turned off you get 120 fps which will also see you just check the gameplay is super smooth battery smooth and it feels really really good as a good uh, game youtuber and uh, software developer youtuber you, you need to have a good quality pc to make good quality content as you, as you know the editing is so difficult as you can see in this uh, in this place i turn the vsync off and get constant 80 to 100 fps and the gpu is 99 which is really good it means that the, the cpu they are currently having 11 gen 4 i5 is uh, giving the full potential to the gpu then the new era start we have the pubg mobile that i used to play uh, unfortunately i didn't play the pubg pc because my friends don't play but my pc is more than capable and this game really changes the world and now everybody plays it and i also really love this game and as you can see i played from a long time when the akm supports 8x and you can do 8x spray on akm which is insane man back in the days really the pubg was really really good and good optimized as you can see in the core i3 PC the back then I could run it pretty well smoothly but look at the, the look at the performance when I currently now it nowadays it was really laggy just look at it this is the this is the specification core i3 and 8 GB of RAM and the GTS 960 graphics card it is installed on SSD still as you can see the rendering is so bad and the glitch and the glitching sound all of those things is really really hating for me and just look at it my high, my eye just hard just looking at it that is how laggy the performance is after the generational upgrade of the pubg gameplay and i was very lagging behind and just look at it how many shoots i do to kill this bot it was insane man the performance in the competitive game you need to have a good uh, good fps to ma maintain a good performance and the good kd ratio but which was not there which is really hurting for me I, I will never forget this kind of day, just really hating. Just look at the sound. Oh my god, it was so bad. And the cringy sound. I hate this kind of thing. Back was the day when I used to play this game, emulator game on dual core processor or core i3, it was really bad. And it uh, and when you want to play the game on emulator, you must have minimum of four core processor minimum or you have a huge problem with it. I need to shoot the enemy, it lags and just fall behind. It was a very bad day for me. When I re if even on the recording, it was a little bit worse. But then I upgraded to second hand Core i5 uh, 2400, which is second hand. As you can see, the performance was really bad then as well. It was jumping around 23 to 25 FPS. Uh, it's now hand and then. Because uh, most of the time, the performance was pretty good compared to the i3, it is uh, 40 to 50 FPS. But in the Livic or Irangel, in the intense situation, when there are four or five enemy comes, uh, the performance was not that good. 
so it was a little bit of lag, but it was far better than the Core i3 second gen as it is a dual as it is a four core processor but the Core i3 was a two core processor then i collected a lot of money earned a lot of money that i currently using uh, gdx 960 4 uh, gb variant this one this is the pny ssd that i can use which is 250 240 gb old hard drive one terabyte it's quite old it's 11 years old the power supply that you have here and then we have the nice the new build that i'm currently having which is all rgb ram uh, cooler master cooler and the nice deep cool cooling and the catching is really good looking and then i have a happy face finally and i bought it to the home and it is one of the most pleasing day and Oh, it's so good looking. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so good. It was really awesome. It means that if the dream comes true finally. Just look at the quality and the lighting and the RGB quality that I have. Then I have the i5 11 Gen 11400 and 16 GB of RAM and GTS 960, which is old my old graphics card, which is also giving a huge improvement after the update. Just look at the CPU just and the GPU just the CPU just in the previous uh, i5 was like 80 to 90 percent now it's only 20 15 to 20 percent most of the time in huge intense situation it does not go beyond that and the look at the GPU just it was really good and the GPU just on emulator to 30 to 40 percent is amazing uh, it means that it, uh, the CPU the CPU is giving full push to the GPU which is awesome that's why I get a huge FPS boost and look at my quality of the performance I can just destroy enemy like crazy just look and enjoy the gameplay for a bit oh superb it feels really good to kill the enemies with this kind of high FPS it's awesome. So this kind of performance you want to get in competitive gameplay. Otherwise you will not feel happy to play because I don't only play PUBG. I also do edit videos which takes a lot of RAM, a lot of the CPU post processing and for that I needed a good system to work with that because my previous computer was like 10 or 11 years old which was not up to the mark in this situation on this modern era which is really really necessary that's why I'm really happy with this that's why I'm making this video for you guys to show you my whole story and my gameplay and my life what I do uh, in PC and why I need a good quality from GPU and the CPU. So that's the main important purpose that I'm making this video As you can see you have a clean hit in this gameplay DDM works really awesome after this update And then we have the intense situation in Lydic as you can see even in intense situation like look at the gameplay how battery smooth it is and here I killed enemy just the drop shot is, is awesome and I got a hit from another enemy and then I uh, moved to Uangel with HD graphics setting in HD or HDR you get logged 60 but you won't get 90 on HDR in emulator which is a little bit problem but you get a constant 60 FPS in, in this kind of good quality setting look at the graphics quality is so awesome the shadow the color the everything looks buttery smooth and awesome and as you can see the graphics setting if we change to a smooth 90 fps now you get the uh, 82 to 83 fps average just look at the landing how smooth it is awesome now we are ready to fight in the libic guys and this is one of the main reason why i make this video to show you the gameplay performance of the uh, pubg after a lot of update in the pubg because in the previous generation the game was really good smooth but nowadays with the update it was laggy but for that i needed a good uh, processor as well to keep up with this otherwise it was a mess and look at this it's only using uh, 19 to 20 percent of my cpu which means that the cpu is very capable to playing any kind of setting in this pubg and with very good frame rate which is awesome and as you can see in the very intense situation that uh, the fps doesn't drop a bit it is battery smooth Okay, 
so that's why i got so happy and just i just free fire of it to see the performance then i jump to hd extreme to check the hd quality and yet still look at the amazing performance and the amazing graphics quality in the hd in the pubg mobile it was really good game man the graphics is really good although it is a mobile game it's really good you can play, play this game and uh, it, you, you can make a content of it and most of the people do content of this nowadays in PUBG the, as it is a very intense fun and the competitive game and all my friends can play this game but before that the call of duty all of those games are not that multiplayer i didn't able to play multiplayer but in this game it i feel really good to play with my friends which really gives a lot of joy here a camper just knocked me i just got i just got saved very rarely <laughs> I, I was really lucky there. Oh, I just knocked him here from a long shot, which is really good. Uh, which I really good in uh, using follower red dot. You can do good sprays with that. So as you can see the performance i'm really happy with the, all of the thing that i currently have i will make dedicated content for call of duty uh, and all of the other games for you so that you can understand the performance of the of this pc and look at the ram uses it's huge if you have less than 8 gb of ram you will have a huge lag in this game remember that i have 16 gb that's why the gameplay is so smooth and this is all the story that i'm on i want to share you guys all my struggle all my upgradation and finally i feel really good to play this game so thanks for watching